What's going on guys? Welcome back to Ground Force Gaming. Nova here with another Street Fighter Duel video and today we're going to cover the Follow the Scent box puzzle in the uh, Icy Cave. I thought that this was going to be a little bit more difficult, I'm going to be honest with you, and I don't think that there's more that there's uh, one way to do it. I think that there's more than one way that you can accomplish this and I don't think that I did it the way that it's meant to be done, uh, to be clear. I don't think that moving the box into the middle like that was what you're supposed to do, but that's what I did and it seemed to work. So I mean, that's just how we have this one being fixed here. Just make sure that you fall down one of the uh, little chasms. It doesn't matter which one. They all fall to the same place. So you, I checked all of them. You don't need to, to do it more than once, but there is a hidden box down there. So interestingly enough, I think if you do it the way that you're meant to do it, you one by one put the boxes on the red, and then that allows you to move around within the ice. But... You get the cutscene after doing this fight against the Akuma team, and I'm guessing that that is basically what's considered to be the end. So I don't think that you even need to get all of the boxes onto the red because you can get all of the chests without doing that. And you'll see here at the end of it, because I spend the time to do it, because I was like, well, maybe you know there might be something else, but there's the clue, right? So we have everything that we need at that point. I went ahead, like I said, and I finished the box puzzle. I got a box onto all of the red spaces. I beat all of the guards, collected all of the chests. And at the end, you'll see this. When I move the final box onto the red, nothing happens. So unless something gets unlocked later or something is unlocked like elsewhere in one of the levels or something, I don't know. I guess I didn't check. I don't know if things that you do in these will affect other little sections of it or not. Because I know you had to do certain things to get like Guile to show up and Vega to show up. So maybe this is just one of those things where like by completing it, eventually it will trigger something within the event. But currently I don't think that you even need to do this because I've got all the chests at this point. I beat the final two uh, people within the ice area. I got the cutscene. I got the clue. So I just kind of don't feel like it's necessary to do it. So you could... You could do what I did already, and basically you don't have to do any of this part at all. You could just back out unless you feel like trying to get all the boxes, which it's not hard. It just takes some time. I think in total, I mean, this video is, what, three minutes and 20 some seconds. I think in total I spent like seven minutes or so on this, and then I just clipped it down. So it's not like it takes that much time to do, really, but it's just like a tedious thing to do if you don't need to do it. So I guess we'll just see what happens later on. I'm hoping there's like some hidden thing that, you know, pops up because you completed it. But, you know, we'll we'll see. So you'll see right here, I slide it on and then nothing happens. So <laughs> I think I beat it in a way that you're not supposed to beat it, or at least that maybe you weren't supposed to see, but it was much faster and much easier. So anyway, guys, I hope that this helped you out. Um, stay tuned for more Street Fighter Duel videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.